Good morning, Jim. This is Charlie Corbett from Kelly's Port. Hope you're having a great morning. Hey, just wanted to take uh, take a video of this uh, 2011 Regal 2700 that you were interested in, and also the 2013 we have down there. Um, but I'll, I'll go down there after I finish with this boat. Basically going through the boat. I know you've seen photos of it, so basically I just kind of want to do a little summary of it. Um, a nice swim platform in the back. Then you do have the transom engine hatch in the back that just folds right up. And this boat does have the 5.7 GXI engine. Oh, that's a 320 horsepower. Two batteries. So, that's nice. But going uh, through the center, you have a nice walk through transom. Easy to get on. And then you have a wraparound seating in the back with a fill and cushion that goes right in the center. This boat only has, uh, I know I said on the phone 100, 100 plus or minus hours, but it says it has uh, 61.5 hours on it, so very low hours for 2011. Um, so that's that's great. Uh, like I said, the the previous owner there, he just bought a Bennington Tritune, one of those uh, Tritunes right there. So it's just an older gentleman, and it's easier for him and his wife to get on. So this is uh, the Regal, the 2011 Regal 2700 that you were interested in. Going through the boat, and I know I told you I would point out the the stuff that I've seen. Upholstery checks out perfect. The upholstery's in great shape. Carpet checks out great. Um, and I walked through the front, or I walked through the boat on the sides, and I honestly did not see a single thing. Only one thing, and I will show you in a minute. After I show you the 2013, there is a little scrape right in the front of the boat. But this is in the back of the boat, that's where you see the most, and I don't see a single thing. So, um, it's in great shape. But like I said, upholstery, carpet, everything inside is in great shape. Um, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. So, again, this is a 2011 Regal 2700 ES with the hard arch on it. Um, with uh, just around 60 hours on it, so pretty good boat. Now I'll take you over to uh, the 2013 Regal 2700 we have here. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the hours on it. We had to, uh, the batteries, we had to unplug the batteries from this boat when it was in service, so, um, and I can, I can find out what the, the hours are on, on that boat. But, uh, going from the back, just like the other boat, nice uh, swim platform in the back. Um, walk through tr transom with a fill-in cushion that goes right there. Nice wraparound seating. Uh, honestly, just looking from the 2011-2013, the, the dash is, I think, the only thing that I notice a little bit different. The steering wheel is a little different. Um, it just, it's a newer look. Then the, the fusion radio is just uh, another, like another upgrade, a level newer. So that was another difference, but. Um, that's the only thing that I can really find different on this boat. But going through this boat is a little bit, a uh, little bit dirtier. It's not that bad, but compared to the other one, uh, the other one's a little bit cleaner. It just needs a good bath. It's just been sitting out here, and we just got it in about two weeks ago, so um, we'll just have to clean it up. But um, carpet needs a little bit cleaning. Upholstery. No rips, no tears, nothing in the vinyl at all. I do not see a single thing. Then like I said in the front of the boat, I did see a few more scrapes and I'll show you in a second about that. Then also, let me see if I can find it. I thought I saw, yeah, right here in the back. But there's some scrapes right there. Um, but I like I like the color on the outside better than the the other one, the 2011. But the other one's a little bit cleaner inside. So, um, but let me let me take you on the front of the boat. Let me go this way. Sorry for the camera work. All right, I'll go through the boat. All right, so this is a 2013 blue Regal 2700 that we were looking at. Um, as you can see, 
right there there's two scrapes right there's one and that's nothing right that's nothing right there but um, this one this extra can rub off that's not a bad at all but this is the only thing that I could see and it looks like it's not in the fiberglass it's just on the gel coat so it's something that maybe we can even buff out um, and there's also a few little scrapes up there and that's that's common up in the front of the boat and I'll see that is it on that boat um, I'll take you to the 2011 Regal 2700 on the outside I did notice a few little and this is just I mean I'm being picky with all this but I told you I'd show you the scrapes there's a little scrape half an inch scrape right there and a little scrape right there but on the side of the boat I do not see a single thing and I already looked through all that so um, but if I I'm sorry if I do miss something in this video but I looked through and I could I do not really see anything major here's a little nick right here and there so but again I mean the 2011 Regal 2700 a few little scratches on the very minor on this on the side very clean boat inside no problems inside the 2013 little scrapes on the side uh, a little a little dirty inside but it just needs good cleaning so those are the two boats that you are interested in um, but uh, I will be in touch with you um, shortly probably um, this afternoon or tomorrow morning just to see if you have any more questions but feel free to give me a call my cell phone 419 467-1656. Thank you for watching.